Hi and welcome back to the channel. In a recent video I showed you how to do a remote NAS to NAS backup where we even talked about the considerations for taking the target NAS off site. In today's video I'm going to show you how to do a restore from that remote NAS not only back to the original source NAS but also to a completely different NAS device in the event that something should happen to your original source. So if this is something you think you're interested in then stick around. Okay, so I'm signed into all three of my NAS devices. This is the DS216 Plus 2. This is the DS920 Plus, which I changed to a blue background so that we can differentiate between the 216 Plus 2 being the source NAS and the 920 Plus being the target NAS. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take this offsite backup task and restore it not only back to the original source NAS. But we're also going to take this same backup task and restore it to the 1621 plus. And you see here I changed the background of that NAS to black so that we can differentiate yet again. Now, you might say, why would we want to do it to a different NAS? In the event that you lose your original source NAS to something catastrophic like a fire or a theft, at least if you had to go out and get another NAS, you know you can restore that data back to it. So that said, if you're interested in seeing this, like I said earlier, stick around. Okay, so we're going to start on the DS216 Plus 2 with the original restoration to the source NAS. I'm going to go ahead and replicate a loss of data. So let's go into the file station. I'm going to click on the desktop and I'm going to go ahead and delete this will and trust folder, which was the folder that we used in the original backup task. So let's go ahead and delete this to simulate a loss of data. And now you can see that that folder is gone. So what we're going to do now is go into hyper backup. And what we want to do here is click on the restore icon and we're going to select a data restore. And you can see from the list of restoration tasks, the offsite backup. We're going to click on next. And we're going to leave it set at do not restore system configuration. Let's click on next. And then we're going to come here and we're going to open the desktop and I'm going to select the will and trust folder. Now I can use the timeline down below to select what version I want to restore. We're just going to go with the latest version and I'm going to click on next. It's showing us a summary. I'm going to click on done. And it's in the restoration process and you can see the process has completed and it says it was successful. So let's go back now to the file station and see if the folder has been restored. Let's go to our desktop and there's the will and trust folder right there. We're going to start by going up to the main menu and launching hyper backup. Now it wants to create a backup task by default. We're just going to close this window and we're going to come over here and we're going to hit restore and we want to do a data restore. But you see, it tells us that there are no backup tasks to restore. So what we're going to do is come down and say restore from existing repositories. And then from the restoration source page, we're going to click on remote NAS and click on next. Now here we need to enter the information of the remote NAS. Now, since right now it's on my local network, I'm just going to have the Synology scan for the DS920 plus. Keep in mind that if it was in an offsite location, you would enter that information and have either Quick Connect ID set up, a VPN set up, or use of dynamic DNS. But for now, we're just going to select the DS920. I'm going to log in, similar to what we did when we did the NAS to NAS backup. Okay, now that we're successfully logged in, we're going to select our source folder, which was offsite backup. And we're going to click on next. 
And again, we do not want to restore the system configuration. So let's click on next. And here we're going to select the will and trust folder. And again, we'll just leave it for the latest version and click next. Again, we're getting a data restoration summary. So let's go ahead and say done. And here it's restoring and you can see now the task has completed. So we'll say, okay. And now we'll go check the file station on the 1621 plus and the desktop should have the will and trust folder, which it does right here. Okay. So there you see the simple process of restoring a remote NAS backup, not only to the original source NAS, but also to a completely different NAS device. Let me know down in the comments, what you're doing to back up your NAS, or even if you are backing up the NAS. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel in, in other ways, there are links to my Patreon page and PayPal down in the video description. And recently I opened up a buy me a coffee account. So if you'd like my content, you feel free to buy me a coffee links down below as well. Once again, my name is Tony with quick tech solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.